In this video, I'm going to show you where I buy my materials for making North American fighter kites. Now, I'll start with the material I use for the sale of the kite. I use polypropylene film primarily, and uh, Paper Mart is where I normally get it. Here I went to their website and typed in metallic film rolls, and this is the page it brought me to. And you can see it comes in a few colors. It's silver on one side and uh, whatever color it is on the other. It comes in a 100 foot long roll and about $17 a roll. So you get an awful lot of it for uh, in a roll, you can make a zillion kites. So it's good to share it with others that are uh, making kites as well. And you can swap colors back and forth and what have you. Now, there are many, many ways, to, or, or materials rather, uh, to use other than polyfilm for a kite sale. You can use ripstop nylon. Ripstop polyester, Icarex, Dyneema, uh, Tyvek, papers of various types. I'm showing you what I use most of the time. Now, you can also buy films other places. Here, I went to Amazon and typed in shiny mylar rolls. I typed in mylar because that's the term most often used to describe a shiny film. And although sometimes they are actually mylar, they often are not. So you have to be careful if you really want mylar to make sure it is. Uh, mylar doesn't stretch. The polypropylene films don't stretch very much and you have to work hard to get them to stretch, but they can stretch. Uh, I like that aspect of them because it, they're a little softer and they're quieter when they're in flight. And I just like that. It's a personal preference. Mylar uh, is a little noisier when you fly it. And there are many different uh, polyfilms. These are called cellophane. And cellophane, uh, are those are variety of colors, but they're all translucent, uh, which is really nice. It's a nice variety. So there's lots to choose from. And this is where I get mine. We talk about the bow of the kite, carbon fiber bow. I buy mine from Buzzard Models, buzzardmodels.com. And then I can just go to materials and click on carbon fiber rods round. And this is the page. And they make a, or they sell a variety of different diameters. I use two in particular, 1.2 millimeter, which is approximately 0 0.049 inches. And I use a one and a half millimeter here that is roughly 0 0.059 inches in diameter. So just a little bit smaller than a 0 0.06. And this 1.2 is just a little bit smaller in diameter than a 0 0.05 inch carbon fiber rod. Now these come in 1,000 millimeter lengths. That's about, you know, a little over 39 inches. I don't have any kite that uses a, a bow that long. So it's plenty long enough. I just cut them to length. <clears throat> the reason I choose Buzzard, I mean, they have very fast service, but they also have a shipping option that's a flat rate of $6. It's a very economical shipping, and that's one of the things I, that makes me order from them. Now, for my spines, um, I like to use flat carbon fiber. I can use 
carbon fiber rods also, but I like flat carbon, and I buy my flat carbon from AliExpress.com. Here, I just typed in their search window, uh, one by four millimeter flat carbon fiber, and this is one of the options, this page here. You get 20 pieces, and you get them for 11 bucks. They pay the shipping. Now they have a variety of thicknesses and a variety of widths of flat carbon, but they're all the maximum length is a half, half a meter, 500 millimeters, roughly 20 inches or a little less than 20 inches. I don't have any kites I make with spines that long, so these all these suit me for all my kites. Now, if you build fighter kites with spines longer than 19 and a half inches, say, this may not be suitable for you. But otherwise, they work really well. Now, I typically use Weldwood Contact Cement that I buy at Home Depot. Um, and that's what I use to bond all of the parts of my fighter kites together. When I don't use that, I use double-sided tape. Now, I have used iCraft double-sided tape, which is considered a permanent bond, and it's very, very good. Um, the thing with double-sided tapes that you have to remember is you must burnish the bond exceedingly well for it to hold under the stresses of flying a kite. I have had instances where I did not burnish it well enough and it actually separated and I had to re-bond re it when I got home. Uh, this I've never used, this AJ sign. I've never used that, but it appears like it would be very good as well. I've tried many others, including this scotch tape here. I don't find it to bond permanently enough, uh, strongly enough for use in a kite, so I don't use it. But there are many others that are available and you can select whatever you want to experiment with. Well, I hope this has been helpful.